Hello, this is Virgo47 and you're watching another episode of my new Be Home Recording tutorial. This time I will be talking about budget. You obviously can't buy everything in the best quality. You always have to think how to buy the best value for your money. Before we go any farther, I want to recommend you a very good site, twigheads.com. Here you can find the guide. It's a great guide to um, how to build a studio, how various technologies in the studio work and uh, I really recommend you to read this before you do anything else because it's really good and <laughs> I came to this guide um, much later than I would like to. Uh, here you can click on a system guide, it's this page and uh, you can check uh, various types of studios also you can read well, what particular type of studio is good for and uh, some recommendations by by the guy uh, that call himself a tweak it's a really very good guide of course uh, make your own decisions in the end go to your local store check the internet and uh, decide for yourself Technically, all you need to create music on a computer is the computer. Most of them are equipped with uh, sound cards, um, mostly on board, and then you obviously need some speakers or headphones because otherwise you can't check out your music, you know, and it's unlucky. Then you need some software where you can uh, sort of program your music to play its notes and MIDI events or samples, whatever. And in the end, you have some composition. Now, that's okay, but if you want to record some voice or instrument, you also need a microphone. In that case, sound card might not be the best. The sound card doesn't have a proper preamp for the microphone, it can be noisy, but we'll talk about this later. Whatever you record inside this yellow box, which is entitled Unlock Audio is uh, Unlock Signal and you have to convert it into digital form because computer is all about numbers. That's why a sound card contains analog digital converter and digital analog converters. There are many important parameters related to these converters and the quality of these converters is very very important on this way in especially. There is another way how you can get your music to the computer if you have a MIDI keyboard, you can connect it to your computer via USB cable, for example. There are specific MIDI cables too, but it's much more convenient to use USB now. And uh, then whatever you play on your MIDI keyboard gets to the computer as uh, MIDI events. While MIDI events on their own are not audio, then it's not sound, you can synthesize them and then you can listen them on your speakers for example. However I don't want to discuss MIDI in detail now so let's go on. This is a slight modification of the previous picture and instead of sound card you still may have one in your computer you have audio device and this one is used for home recording. Audio device is external box you can easily carry it to other place, uh, connect it to your notebook and record anywhere. Uh, so it's more mobile, it's uh, one advantage, it's a quite significant one in um, many cases. Uh, audio device is mostly connected via USB or Firewire. There are other ways too, but these are uh, clearly dominant. In case of USB, uh, you can go for 1.1, which is cheaper and less quality, or USB 2 which is faster and uh, you can for example there are USB 2 audio devices that uh, allows you to record 8 tracks simultaneously while USB 1.1 can do only stereo in uh, CD quality but that should be okay for you if you just want to try this way out 
Mm, this picture may be misleading because not every audio device allows you to connect microphones into it. Actually, the most simple ones have only RCA cables, which are good for connecting the audio device to your hi-fi, but not for these things, microphones and speakers. In that case, you need something else in between, and in most cases it's a mixer. Some audio devices uh, may provide all necessary inputs for you, for microphones, guitars, and also outputs for monitoring, but uh, some people simply prefer mixer for the feel, uh, all those knobs and faders. Also, mixer has uh, equalizer on every input in many cases, and even if not on every, at least on some. Mixer may have better preamps than audio device, but of course it's easy to find audio device that's uh, more expensive than the mixer. In that case it might not be true. It's all about uh, choosing those two devices together when you decide to go for this configuration. As you saw, there, is, there was no change in, uh, in our MIDI setup. Even if you had more MIDI devices that are connected via, via MIDI, mostly via USB cable, and uh, they are not uh, affected by uh, those various options, how to connect analog audio at all. Before you go and write to your local store, you have to know what you want. How many inputs do you need? If you have some devices already or if you plan some in the near future, uh, if you want or need a mixer for them, or if you go for audio device with more inputs. And also the big question, do you need phantom power or not? Well, I would say go for phantom power if you can. It's actually not a big deal. It's provided in nearly all cheap mixers. So I would avoid any that doesn't have phantom power. Or if you go mixerless, then go for audio device that has phantom power.